Hi there, I'm Arnold from the Creationals development team. This video is intended for Quark Express users and is meant to present you a new extension we've released called the PDF Importer. So let's create a new project inside Quark Express. And to import a PDF, we first need to add an image content to host the PDF pages. So this size is about right. And now let's first try import a PDF with the usual import function. Select the PDF and as you can see, so in the PDF page text box, you can enter any pages you want, page number I mean. But if I try to enter a comma to enter another page number, it won't let me. So let's say I want to add page six of my document click open and there you have it okay so that's one page only so now let's try our PDF importer extension and to add this extension we first need to close Quark Express go to your application and open the extension folder then drag the PDF importer inside the extension folder so now we can launch Quark Express again and create a new project, create an image content, and now go to the file menu and you will see a new function called import PDF. Click that, brings up a new window, looks like the usual import window. Click your PDF file. So now you see in the bottom panel you have you have a page text box with all selected and you can add any pages separated with a comma or you can add all odd page numbers or all even page numbers you can also insert the pages after a page number you have in, inside your project and you can skip pages if you want to add blank pages. So inside my document, let's say I want to report pages 1, 2, 4, 6 and 7. Actually when you enter page numbers, these options won't enter into consideration. So I want to insert after page 1 because I just have one page and I'm going to skip two pages open. Okay, so it makes me 13 pages because I wanted to insert two blank pages in between each PDF import page. And I'm going to check on my document that it did indeed import the right pages numbers. So that's page one, sorry. That's page one. Skip two pages. Page two. Then it was page four, if I remember well. Yes, page four, so we skip the page three. Two pages. It was page, sorry, page four, five, six, and page seven. So that's correct. And that's it. You have all the pages you wanted to import from your PDF into your project. But what if I want to edit images or text inside the image contents? Portable document format does not allow that. The PDF Importer Pro version has the ability to convert PDF to Quark native objects, which then can be each edited separately. OK, so I have the PDF Importer Pro extension installed and this new empty project. Let's pretend for the sake of the demonstration that I have exported this PDF earlier and that it was ready to be published, but now I realize that I've made some spelling mistakes. I would normally get back to my QXP file and edit the text here, but it may happen that you have deleted the project and you can't retrieve it. 
This case scenario is not such a big deal if you're on the PDF Importer Pro. So let's just open the Flood PDF inside our project. And I'm going to use again the import PDF function from the file menu and select my PDF. And on the bottom section, as you can see, there is this little text box which says convert to native object. And if ticked, it will convert the PDF to Quark Express native objects. That's what we want to do. So I click open and I let this ticked. And boom, I now have access to all these sections, whether they are image contents or text boxes. Now I can amend the text I want. For instance, Hamilton wants softer tires and more, not more fun, but more fans. Then I just have to export it again as a PDF. So this is our firmer PDF and this is our new one with the new title. On this July 21, I am releasing a new update of the PDF Importer Pro. This update comes with a new feature called Flow PDF Pages Inside Text Boxes. What it means is you can now import multiple pages from your PDF inside one single page inside your project. And to have these several PDF pages inside one single page, you actually now have to use the text boxes and link them together. And the PDF pages of your PDF will actually follow the same order as the link path of your text boxes. So let's go through a quick demo. I have here um, a document. Let's pretend this is a catalog from a jeweler. And he has um, several items in his catalog. And let's imagine this is Black Friday and he wants uh, a brochure with five of the items from the catalog inside the brochure. So what I would have to do is to make a layout with the pages of the booklet and instead of importing the images and importing text or writing text I can actually just import the pages I want from the PDF catalog so in order to do this you have to draw your text boxes and then link them together so as you can see this is the first one and it goes here for the second page when you unfold actually the booklet this is the second page and it goes there on the third page fourth fifth and this is the last page so let's import the pages we want from the catalog import pdf select the catalog we want to import the first six pages corresponding to the first six items and we want to scale to picture, yes, and convert to native objects. We retain the source picture box. And boom, there we have all the pages imported at once. Uh, so now we can amend the text, resize it as you wish. Um, resize the boxes resize the images and change the price it would be $99 okay so that's that this is a new feature of the PDF Importer Pro 
and it's called Flow PDF Pages Inside Text Boxes. So we hope you find this extension useful. To get it, please visit our website at www.creationnotes.com or just click the link in the description of the video. Thank you for watching and see you next time for another plugin release.